Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Let us continue with our lesson over here. And in the previous lesson, we learned about the path parameters and how we can pass it over here. And in this lesson, let us go and see how we can make use of the, um, the uh, if you go to this particular push and you have the option to pass in the extra object over here. So let's see how we can make use of this one. And the perfect example would be of the detail screen because here we have some complex object that we need to pass in. And using the uh, path parameter, you can just pass in the simple uh, things over here. It's uh, you, it's just required for like you're passing the, the product ID or some kind of the ID or the name to the page. But here you can see we need to pass a, a different configuration over here. So for this case, what we'll do is we'll go to the product screen over here and uh, I guess we'll add one uh, button over here. So let's go and after this particular elevated button or let's just go and add it before this one. And I'll just go and set the ELEV uh, elevated button over here itself. And let's try to go and navigate to that particular screen. So that will be of the uh, detail screen over here, right? So let's just go and uh, put it as a comma over here and on press we need a function callback over here and I'll just make this one a const of the text and here we want to go to the um, uh, PRDC to product detail over here and uh, uh, let's just say a uh, uh, PUS is push to our product detail over here and in here what we'll make use of this UNTXT context dot the go over here and we want to go to this particular location so currently that location is not there so if you go over here we don't have that particular location over here as well so if you, our route name if you go to the route name over here we have that product and we don't have the product details so let's just go and create that one so product um, this will be a product and I just guess this will be a product not the route product this will be a product uh, the it is detail route name so it will be of let's say a product uh, detail over here and let's go to our app route and we have to have that particular route over here so let me just copy uh this one from here and from here i want to go inside the um the prod you see the product uh detail route name over here and that will be of let's say a uh, uh, prod you see the product uh let's see of the product underscore the detail over here so this is our product detail right and from here we want to return the uh detail screen over here and if you go to the detail screen it requires the uh, name age and then the function itself over here so what i need to do is i need to uh, extract all of those information so if i go over here and if i say that the I have to extract the uh, object right so extra object over here and um, let's just go and extract this one over here and this will be now be uh, ex3 ra uh, s extras over here I guess okay so not the extra so it will be of the extra and if you take a look this is of the object itself in the object what we are going to pass in uh, it as the uh, map over here and you can also do this one using the dot record type and that will be much more uh, easier but let's try to make use of the uh, map over here and uh, i want to extract the name and then the age from here right 
and also i want to extract the uh, function call from here so this will be of the updated name so here um, so here we will have the update name which is of the type is of the function right and now uh, i can go and pass the detail screen the name and also i need to pass in the uh the things that i need to pass in is the age itself and that will be of the uh, age from here and also i need to pass in the uh, updated name and that will be of the updated name from here as well so once we have all of those uh, uh configuration i guess uh we are good to go over here so let's go back to our uh, this particularly the product screen and then here what we need to pass in is the extra right so let's go and pass in the extra and we need to pass okay so that should be of the the location will be of the uh, slash the product product underscore the detail is the the uh, location right so here extra i need to configure the const of the e x3 r a extra which will be of the uh, map uh, let's go and take a look what we require over here map of the string and then the dynamic so i need to create the same type over here and now uh, what we need to do is let's just go and add our um, we need the name uh, and then we also require the um, let's just try to arrange this one properly over here and then uh, here we have the uh, map letter can we have the map okay so i need to remove this one from here and here we currently don't have that so let's just go and close this one over here and okay so this should not be here so that's why we are getting that particular error and this requires a, a function callback so currently we don't have that so i'll just go and set the void and then the update name that is what we require over here a value const okay so this is what we have to pass in over here and that may be okay so we have some error so we need to remove the const from here so that should be i guess it should be of the final not the const over here and now uh, once we have that i guess uh, that should be fine and now i need to pass in this particular extra from here and once we pass this extra from here this is the exact what we are going to grab or what we are going to extract it from here right so this is what we are extracting and we are passing down to our detail screen and in the detail screen we are accepting that one i can just remove this unused from here and uh, that should be fine over here so once we grab this particular update name and uh, so once i pop that i'm going to pop the hello world back again so let's try to rerun our application i hope this should run fine so let's log in go to the product and i want to go to the push to the product detail over here and now i can see that i got the name as the uh, john and i got the age as the 30 over here and let's go and take a look if that is the correct uh, data that we have passed from the product screen so here we are passing as the john and then the age as the 30 and if i click on the go back over here i should okay so here you will get an error over here and i hope you got the um the idea already why this is actually happening over here you can see that you have popped the last page off of the stack there is no page to uh, page le pages left to show and by this error you should already guess what happened over here and as i have already mentioned or as we have already learned previously there is a two types to navigate one is to use the go and one is to use the push so let's see what we have used over here in our on the product screen over here and here you go so we have make use of the go here that's why it's not keeping the uh, previous the the navigation stack so if you want to pop that one what we have to do is we have to make use of the push over here not the go because go doesn't um have the uh, it doesn't keep the raft stack so it will replace the uh, current one and it's make it uh it you cannot come back to that particular route right using the go but since we are using the push now we should be fine so let's try to rerun this particular application and let's go back to the login screen 
go to the product and from here we'll go to the product detail we got that and i can now from here i can go back from here and now you can see that we should actually see that some um the printout over here hello world back again so if i just go and clear this particular console and go to the uh, post to the product detail over here and if i come back i should see that print out that is what we have uh, defined over here so in this way you can make use of the extra over here for the uh some if you have some complex requirement to pass in as the page uh, prompts that is not um the page the parameters or the route parameters that we previously passed in doesn't fulfill your request so this is the path parameter that we previously used to pass this can be used in this simple scenario but if you have something a complex requirement to be passing you can always make use of the extra which will be much more easier you can also instead of using the map you can also make use of the dot data type which is of the record itself so i hope you got the point when to use the extra and when to use this particular uh, the path parameter and it always uh, recommend to make use of this particular way so the path parameter try not to pass in the whole object to um, a lot of the objects to the route and to the pages because uh, that can uh, pollute your uh, code it will be quite messy itself and people may try to find it difficult to understand your code may be um your code may smell over there right because that means that you if you have a lot of the configuration that you need to pass into the route and you are doing a lot of this stuff there that means something is not correct over there try to minimize this and try to make use of the path parameter that is the recommended way you just always pass a simple things to the route itself and to the page and leave the rest to the uh, your state management so you should properly manage the state using the state management solution not to do all of this stuff and passing things around using the route and all of those configuration so let's meet up in the next uh, lesson till then have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here and the next step let us go and see how we can make use of this sub route using the go router over here and for that if i go to my this particular let's go to the product over here and if i go to the uh, product detail page over here uh, i want to make this one as the sub route of the product so let's go to our product over here and i guess currently uh, there there is no product and let's create that particularly the product screen over here so i'll just copy this one from here and i'll just go and paste it below this one and this will be of the product page so let's say uh product product over here and this will be of the product product and then the route name over here and we don't require all of those so let's just go and return from the builder uh, product screen from here and let's go and import this product product screen over here and inside this product uh, or inside this particular go route we have the option to pass in the sub route over here which is takes the list of the uh, route base and the, the type is of the route base and it's the routes so let's go and have the routes routes over here and uh, here it takes the list right so the list of the same type that we have over here which is of the route base over here just copy this one and i can just paste it over here and uh, here we are going to provide that particular detail page so let me just grab this one from here uh, sorry i need to grab the whole this one from here the go router and let's just move inside this particular uh, let's just move inside over here that will be of the the route over here so let's go and uh, set it over here so now we have the first part is of the product this is the uh, the root path and then we have the sub route of for this particular product page which will be of the product detail over here and what we have to do is we have to remove this one from here so let's just go and remove this one and i guess that should be the the sub route should not contain the uh, forward slash over here that's why i have removed that one so let's try to 
reload this particular uh, the concept over here and let's try to do, go to the product and we'll go to the product detail from here and now okay so we got some error so you can see the exception uh, the go exception no route for the location slash the product detail now if you go to our screen and from the product uh, product screen we are actually going to that particular product page so here we have the product detail and it should be actually the uh, slash the prod uct product over here and this is what we have over here so it should be from the product and then we have the product detail so this is what we have to set over here we want to push from the product to the product detail so make sure that you have the correct path that we have defined over here this one and this one so let's try to go and rerun the application let's go to the uh, product and from here open the product detail page and now you can see that we have the uh, we are inside of this product detail page that is from the sub route over here and in this way you can add the multiple sub route you can just copy this and add the another route over here have a different name different a path in the name and return a different a screen from here and also inside of this particular sub uh, this sub uh, this is the sub route and also you can also pass another sub route over there so you can just go and play around with this particular configuration and in this lesson we just saw how we can provide the uh, sub route to a go route itself so um, we will be using that particular concept over here so we have this particular route and we can go to the sub route over here and in this way you can manage the once you click on this particular back button you it will go back to that particular uh, the parent route so that is the configuration that we can make use using the sub route and from here you can have the another route and once you pop that it will come back to the product detail itself so that's all for this lesson and we will continue with our lesson in the next one till then have a great day